good morning this is Simon from Lighter Gamble so let's take a chance uh, this morning it was coming from a very wet and miserable water in the maze and it's raining quite badly outside however we have a lot of parts to do on chance and here are two of them they are the companionway steps to the full to the main cabin and also the with uh, steps to go from the wheelhouse to the deck on the starboard hand side. These salmon has cleaned up, rubbed all the old varnish off, sanded them down back to bare wood and so they're now ready to be re-coated with a modern good high strength faulty varnish designed for heavy use areas such as these steps. So that's what he's done so far and if we move round the workshop slowly you'll see that Simon is now doing these steps which are the ones which go down into the aft cabin from the wheelhouse they're also the ones that protect the aft end of the engine room and are used to insulate from the engine noise as you can see Simon has cleaned up a fair bit of it, all the treads for, this, for the steps, the outside edges of the steps as well, go down and have a look, all there, all the way along both sides, there's a bit of oil damage from the engines which Simon's going to have to try and soak out of the wood using degreaser until we have got rid of all of it, that's going to be taking a bit of time but it will come out eventually so as you can see he's cleaning the varnish off the risers now there, there and in here although there's a few tools in there you must gasp it up what's actually there but there's plenty of work to do in there so once that's all done he'll get on with some more jobs later so that's what he's got to do at the moment, clean these up. A long, long job and it's painstaking as it takes so long because you've got to hand sand it, scrape it, use a bit of heat gun from time to time. But it's just a long, laborious job that's going to take a fair amount of time to do. Let's we'll move on to another job here. This is the Baby Blake Sea Toilet Lid. All remove the varnish, clean the brass up. There's a bit, still needs a bit of polishing yet, but that's for another day. But would you believe that there sits a thousand pounds if you had to buy it new from the company who have Baby Blakes now as part of their inventory? It's quite amazing that just a toilet lid. It's four times more than a modern complete sea toilet. Heaven forbid, you must be a king to sit on this throne.
as you can see, it's not an easy job to do this. And there's so many small corners to do, and very limited space to do it in. As you can see, in the left hand side of the corner of the picture, it's Sam has already started to rub down the actual right, right riser here with some tank paper, getting back to a nice rich golden brown colour that the mahogany was when it was first put in. And on the right hand side, you can see we have still got some of the vine still on there, which is going to come off shortly. Right, that's the last one done now. So that's the big one done. Smaller one for the companion way into the deck, and then the one for the fore cabin from the cockpit. So now they're all cleaned, sanded down, prepped, ready for. Right, all that's left to be done now to these is to sand them down a little bit more, take risk of the whiskers off where I've been rubbing them down quite heavily, and then get a lot of varnish applied to these so that they keep their colour. But that will have to be done after the areas which have got oil contamination has been cleaned off. But apart from that, these are now done. And our next job will be then to sort out the hatches for the butterflies, hatches, lids of them should I say, and then once they're done, they'll have to take the hatches out of the, out of the deck on chance when the weather's drier, unlike today, which is pouring down the rain. But such is life, can't have everything. Is after all April, and April is known for April shower bring forth Mayflowers and let's hope that does happen because at the moment we at the chance are a bit miffed off with the fact that we've got no dry days for about a week so all we can do is do inside jobs such as hatches, doors, lids and any other general repairs also we've got to do a Mount, a fair amount of draw rebuilding and that will be on a later video well all for now we're going to talk to you soon have a good Easter and, and we'll see you on the next video goodbye I almost forgot to say if you like these videos why not like and subscribe to them so that I can keep making them and keep you informed in what we are doing with Chance through her restoration over the next four to five years and if you're a patreon or like to become a patron by all means donate through my patreon page and also any other way you'd like to subscribe I do have a coffee page as well so buy me a coffee so if you'd like these videos I'd like to donate to the cause by all means do so and Happy hunting with this next few weeks and months as we go along trying to find out more of how she was built, how she was repaired and subsequently how she's gone now to be restored and brought back to life as a family cruising vessel and also along the way we are going to teach people the art of classic boat building and restoration as part of the project so if you'd like to help by all means do so even by subscribing to the channel donating to the channel or if you feel if you're in the area near Walton on the Nays why not come along and volunteer to help us do this job and give yourself some entertainment as well thank you for now talk to you soon bye bye